In this video, I'll be breaking down how much you need to make in order to afford a 2023 BMW X3. I think you should really consider following one of these rules in order to avoid making a huge car buying mistake that'll end up setting you back financially for years. I've also included a link to a free auto quote where you could save up to 600 bucks a year in the description below, but more on that later. There are four options I'll be going over today, and you can decide on which ones to do the best depending on how into cars you are. Some people just want a reliable form of transportation, some are willing to sacrifice quite a lot more in order to get the car that they really want. Stick around to the end of the video, find out what method would be best for your personal situation. This is 4 Wheel Finance, a channel dedicated to helping you making smart car buying decisions. Before I dive into the first rule, these videos take quite a lot of time and effort to make. Please give it a like, subscribe, comment down below what other vehicles you would like me to review. First rule I'll be going over is the 2410 rule. This states you should put at least 20% down, you shouldn't finance it for more than 4 years or 48 months, and the payment shouldn't be more than 10% of your monthly gross income. Since the 2023 BMW X3 has an MSRP of 45 grand, you'd need to put down 9,000. And with the average new vehicle interest rate of 3.86% in a 48 month term, this would bring your monthly payment to $810.59. Take note here that you're also paying about 2,900 in interest. Bank rate states that the average monthly insurance cost is 148 bucks, but this varies quite a lot. So use that smart financial link I've got in the description below Find out exactly how much it would cost for you to insure something like this. It really depends on the person, your gender, your age, your driving habits, what part of the country you live in. So give a look at that free quote, see if you can save a little bit. This brings your monthly total to $958.59. Going back to that 2410 rule, given your monthly cost is $958, you would need a monthly gross income of $9,585, which would add up to about $115,000 annually. I really encourage you to take a look at the opportunity cost here. If you were to buy a cheaper $10,000 car and put what would be your car payment of $958.59 in the market instead, over the course of five years with a relatively conservative 6% rate of return, that would turn into $56,598, gaining almost eight grand in interest here. And that's just for the first five years. If you were to continue this for 10 years, it would amount to $132,340 at only a 6% rate of return. For reference, the stock market averages around 10% return per year, so this is pretty conservative. Give a look at those Acorns and M1 investing apps. It's important to get started as early as you can, even if it's a small amount of money. Get started as early as you can. It can turn into something pretty special and over the long term. The next rule here is my own rule, and I developed this for more of the car and truck person. And I think that you should have at least a six month emergency fund, especially if you're commission based. Invest 15% of your gross income into your 401k and max out your Roth IRA and if you have a high deductible health savings account, your HSA as well. And I know this seems like quite a lot of saving, but I don't give you a monthly percentage rule you have to stick to in terms of spending. So it's up to you to decide if you want to spend more of your monthly income on a vehicle or if you'd rather spend less on a car, go out to eat more, more vacations, etc. The six-month emergency fund just ensures that you're covered in the case that obviously an emergency fund happens. And the investment portion gives you a little bit of financial security later in life when you're most likely going to need it the most. The majority of people say that, well, nothing's really guaranteed. And that's true. I mean, nothing is guaranteed at all. But it's very difficult putting a value on having peace of mind for yourself or for your family's future. Third rule I'll be going over here is the Dave Ramsey rule. And he thinks you should have at least a three to six month emergency fund. The vehicle shouldn't be more than 50% of your gross annual income, and you should purchase it in cash. Given the 2023 BMW X3 starts at about 45 grand, your annual gross income would need to be a minimum of 90,000. Ideally, it's nice to purchase a vehicle in cash as you would avoid having to pay that 3,000 in interest and your insurance would be a little bit lower, but there's some cons as well. Obviously, not everybody's got 45k in cash they could put towards a car, and there's a slight chance you could make more money having that money in the market instead. Final rule here is the one-tenth rule, which was developed by Financial Samurai, and this one's pretty aggressive, but I think personally, a lot of people that want to build their wealth rapidly should consider this one. It doesn't really allow you to buy a new vehicle, but it allows you to spend responsibly, which reduces your financial car ownership stress and increases your net worth over time. It's a pretty straightforward rule. It states you shouldn't spend more than 10% of your gross annual income on a car. It can be new or old, but 
for the vast majority of people, it's probably going to be used. And you must own it for at least five years, but ideally more. And the theory here is just to minimize your financial stress. Freeze up a bit of money to invest in assets or opportunities that may come your way. It's a lot more stressful and difficult making life decisions and important decisions when you're worried about payments each month, especially car payments. Once again, this is Four Wheel Finance. If you have any questions regarding car buying or how much of a car you can afford, please leave them down in the comments below. And give a look at that Smart Financial link if you if you're curious about saving a little bit of money on your car insurance, they shop around some of the nation's top lenders and see if they can find you a deal.